Uh oh. <laughs> we have a runaway scarecrow. Our scarecrow has run away. Where'd he go? Hey everybody, it's Julie the Author Gamer and welcome back to Stardew Valley Sims. And a few things have happened since we last left off. As you can see, Kit is pregnant. And having to go to the bathroom really bad. I don't know why she's staring at this egg. It's mesmerizing, it seems. Or maybe it's the fact that the toilet is broken. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna replace that. And our power was just shut off. Perfect. Sebi, come pay the bills. <laughs> my electricity! My life! <laughs> Few things are more upsetting than when the electricity goes out, and now none of the electronics work. What is Sebastian supposed to do now? His life has practically come to an end. Well, pay the bills, you dork. Problem solved. So anyway, now that Kid is pregnant, we're gonna have to do a few things. Huh. Work from home assignment. Be eaten by a cow plant. Yeah, that is not going to happen. Not again. That was way too much of a headache last time. What you thinking about, Kit? Dirty diapers? Baby toys? Speaking of which, we need to make a baby room. Alright, we're going to turn this into a hallway. Like so. Okay, this poor kid's room is going to be pretty small. But that's okay for now. Alright, we'll get a little bassinet. We'll put it right here for now, because I figured the baby is going to need to be close to the parents. I could turn this area into a tiny bathroom. Would it work? Can I do that? Maybe like that, and then turn this around. Will that work? Aha! <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> it's the tiniest bathroom in the world. Get some tile and some better wallpaper. There we go. That'll work. The tiniest bathroom in the world. We have what we need so far. We've got a bassinet <laughs> and we got a bathroom that's much closer if Kit needs to go uh, take care of things. Hey, you know what? Let's buy Patchy. Patchy's a good addition and he is going to go right in the middle of the garden. There you go, Patchy. I mean, every gardener should have a Patchy, right? Oh no. Grim has come for one of the chickens. They were getting up there in age. Oh. It's nice knowing you, White Hen. You are a good chicken. Ugh, that reminds me. Kit, come clean the coop! Your chickens are disgusting! Sebi, you can, uh, clean the shed. Oh. You're flirty just because Sebastian is nearby. Well, that's love for you. There you go, Sebi. We'll make a farmer out of you yet. Sebi, you're getting more on the ground than in the bucket. I suppose we can't blame you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cow did not appreciate that either. <laughs> oh no. Oh, hello, Evelyn. Would you like to come in? Oh, Evelyn left. Bye, Evelyn. And here's Elliot. Hello, Elliot. I suppose we will invite you in. Elliot's a bit of a troublemaker. Let's see if he'll behave himself tonight. Let's share the big news with him. Burkadanda, Renubu, Kakasheroi. Oh, Seb's cooking dinner. I didn't even tell him to do that. What you making there, Seb? Hopefully nothing that will burn down the house. Hey, Sebastian actually cooked something. And it looks really good, whatever it is. Galbi Jim. Hmm. Oh, hi, Evelyn. Sure, come on in and do our dishes. Surely Elliot will not try to flirt with us in front of Evelyn. Oh, Kit's flirty again from being utterly enamored. <laughs> Just being around Sebastian makes her flirty. Well, if you don't like Pop Elliot, you should leave. <laughs> I am going to angry dance. I hate this music, but I'm going to angry dance about it. Alright, Elliot, go home. And we have morning sickness, oh dear. Well, that's why I built the bathroom closer. Third trimester in 20 hours, oh boy. It's getting closer. It is getting closer. Oh, we've got lemons. Kit's boss was disappointed with the work she did from home and made zero dollars. I am sorry, but I am not going to be eaten by a cow plant again. Besides, what kind of job description is that? Your job today is getting swallowed by a carnivorous plant. Oh, and no. oh, uh, the bees, the bees are not that be nice. Let's Nina chat a bit star. with Patchy. Dwee, <laughs> Farobi physique. <laughs> hey Sebastian, you're going to be a father. <laughs> cute. Oh, that's cute. Kit and Sebastian have the opposite attracted sentiment. Opposite to attract. Kit has romantic feelings for Sebastian, even though they are very different Sims. Oh, I've not seen that before. 
These two are just sitting here flirting with each other, and I'm not doing a thing. <laughs> Kit is well into her pregnancy now and excited to be a mother. Third trimester in five hours. Go start a side job, Sebi. You're a good enough programmer now. Go start a side job. Make some money. There they go again. All right, Sebastian, you're going to have to come out here and take care of these critters. All right, I am going to buy Kit something to do with the logic skill. She needs to level up logic for another promotion. There we go. A nice chest set right by the fire. Give birth in question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, she is about ready to pop. Uh-oh, <laughs> we have a runaway scarecrow. Our scarecrow has run away. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Flirty introduction with the scarecrow. You know what? Let's not. Although that's very intriguing. <laughs> also a little terrifying. How terrifying would this be in real life? Just chatting with the scarecrow that got off his uh, scarecrow stand and came to life. Oh, Sebastian. Are you going to be sad about the broken computer? Yes. Gone too soon, Sebastian. You can fix this. Hold on. Save first. Always save before attempting to fix electronics. How's it coming, Subby? Almost got it. Yes. Good job. You're becoming quite the handy sim, which is good. That's a good trait for being a father. Also cooking. That's also a good trait. Cooking level 5. Although you wouldn't know it. Alright, Kit, go to sleep. You're gonna need all your strength for what's coming next. Alright, Sebastian. Why don't you go to bed? It's a little early, and you're not tired, but I think you're gonna need to go to bed. This might be the last peaceful night. Here we go! It's happening! No! Seppi's freaking out. No! What? Cheered to death from listening to a cheerful sim. Oh, oh no! And pre-parental panic. Ah, oh, Sebastian. All right, well, kid is just going to eat pork noodles in labor. That's fine. Oh, shivin' the flubs. Sebastian, why don't you go take a shower? Yeah, I know. Freaking out. No, you don't need to clean the coop. You are in labor. Why don't you, I don't know, go dance? Go dance with Sebastian. All right, Seb, do, here, let's, let's do something. Get her mind off it. Try to take her mind off it. Brighten her day. She's having and a baby. Yeah. She's allowed to be a little bit tense. Nope. Hang on. Gotta throw up. No, don't clean the chicken coop. Here, Sebastian, here's something you can do. Go clean the coop so Kit doesn't feel she has to do it. There we go. I know. Uh oh dear. Now Sebby's gonna panic. Sebby is panicking. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. We're doing it. It's happening! It's happening! Sebby, get in here! Stop dancing! Witness the birth of your child! And it's a girl! Okay, let's see. What are we gonna name her? Hmm... I admit I didn't think this through. We're gonna call her... We're gonna call her Kenzie. Yes. Her name is Kenzie. There she is. <laughs> well, that's a picture. Wonder what Sebastian is thinking right now. Alright, why don't you feed the baby? Yeah, yeah, Kit, feed the baby. That, that's what it needs. There you go. And then we can change the diaper. And then it'll probably fall asleep. Sebby, what are you doing? You're just standing there. Stop dancing. Come see your daughter. Your dad now. <laughs> Still figuring things out. Why don't you try again? That's cute. Alright, so there is a brand new member of the family. Will Sebby and Kit be good parents? Or will their child drive them absolutely crazy? I guess we'll have to find out in the next one.